The Fokker D8 for Britmania is by far the most colorful kit in my collection. Even though I thought it looked weird the first time I saw it, I have to say I like it a lot now. Hello and welcome to another Britmania review. The Fokker D8 was released on November the 26th, 2021 as part of Britmania's Great Wall Bricks theme. It contains 330 Lego and Brick Arms elements and one minifigure. Designed by Katja, this is another one of her excellent World War 1 aircraft. It captures the silhouette and form of the D8 nicely while also adding that beautiful paint scheme. Especially the upward stripes on the fuselage must have been a challenge since the colors have to be separated while still keeping it sturdy. Overall, the kit is very sturdy and swooshable. However, the tail is only connected with one stud to the front which is definitely noticeable and it falls off rather easy if you're not careful. The most important part for a World War 1 fighter to be sturdy in is in the wings, or in this case, wing. The wing has no problems in durability, it's connected very well to the fuselage and you don't have to worry about it falling off, even if you hold the plane up just by its wing. Besides the durability, the wing also looks really good. The shape is again portrayed nicely and I really like the green color, as well as the two beautifully printed button crosses, which each are four piece cross prints on the wings. The connection bars also look good and while yes, it is a bit of a struggle to get them sitting just right, they are sturdy and look good. Featuring another four printed pieces, the engine looks really good and especially from the side I like the overall shaping of the frontal fuselage. You also have to appreciate that on each side there are six connection bars that are attached to the fuselage and it's still sturdy and keeps the paint scheme. On top of the engine are two brick arms Vickers air guns and further in the back the pilot. You can easily take him out by removing one of the 2x3 black tiles on each side. I will get to the minifigure later. Further down the fuselage we see yet another pair of cross piece printed Biden crosses on each side. Also note how the fuselage is significantly bigger than on other Fokkers, which is exactly how it was in reality. The elevators are the same design used for every Britmania Fokker, but the rudder is again much bigger and features an insane two-sided six-piece Biden cross print. The rear landing stick, or whatever, if you know what this is called, please comment down below. It's built very simply, but is sturdy and will not slip away when playing or displaying your model. The landing gear looks good and is very sturdy. The plate between the wings is a bit fragile, but definitely won't cause any problems. What may cause problems are the wheels. The wheels turn horribly and often snap off, but for whatever reason, when turned around, they roll absolutely flawlessly. I really highly recommend doing this and I don't know why it wasn't done in the first place. The Fokker D6 has turned around wheels which work fantastically, so I really don't know why it wasn't integrated in this one too. The minifigure included is a simple German World War I pilot. I especially like the face artwork and legs. The torso doesn't have as much printing as I hoped for, but of course there are not many details to add. However, it has absolutely no printing on the sides and it feels very empty. Although the German cross is a nice addition. Overall, I really like this kit and can recommend it. With that beautiful color scheme, it will definitely stand out in your collection. And since the Fokker D8 is not a that well-known plane of World War I and doesn't look like a typical one, it is something rather special to have. It features tons of extremely nice printing, my personal favorite being the button crates on the rudder. It's nice to see Brickmania do more and more challenging prints and have less and less stickers in their sets. You don't have to worry about it falling apart when moving it since it's very sturdy and when you turn around the tires it will also be able to drive on the ground. I think $200 is a okay price for this unique kit. As of right now you can get it for 20% less on Brickmania which I would recommend a lot. $160 is a great price for this kit. Thank you very much for watching. Criticism and feedback is welcome in the comments or per Instagram. Have a nice day.